technology newsflash. High Octane is a terrible, terrible racing game. It lacks just about everything that makes a great combat racer, and then proceeds to dig itself into a hole of mediocrity so deep that it's not worth pulling out of the bargain bin that I found it in. Released on the Saturn, PlayStation, and PC in 1995, High Octane is a futuristic combat racing game by Bullfrog. Yeah, Bullfrog. No, no Peter Molyneux joke here, that's Guru Larry's territory. Starting the game up, you got a few different modes. Your basic Grand Prix, Single Race, Clone Race, which is basically a Time Attack Ghost Race, Deathmatch, Split Screen, and a weird Hot Seat Time Attack Multiplayer mode. So yeah, there's quite a bit of modes on offer here. There's 8 circuits to choose from with a 9th Deathmatch Battle Track and 6 unique vehicles to pilot. This game attempts to pile on the features and content to help it stand out against the pack, but none of that is worth a damn if the game straight up plays like shit. As you start a race, you'll try to think of ways to shut off your console as quickly as humanly possible. Unfortunately, you've probably already gouged your eyes out from the absolutely hideous frame rate. The performance is such a sickening eyesore that it gives Virtual Highlight a run for its money. Alright, alright, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's talk about the controls. They're bad. Rather than holding down a button to accelerate like a normal racing game, High Octane instead opts for you to hold up on the D-pad to move. When you realize that this is just a shoddy port of a PC game, it makes more sense, but that's one hell of a design oversight. The face buttons are used for view changes, boost charges, and firing your weapons. Before I explain how all those function, take a gander at your HUD. It could only look more elegant if you smeared dog shit over it. All the different multicolor meters are actually supposed to convey information. Purple is your fuel gauge, the skinny green bar is your boost charge gauge, and the bottom yellowish red is your speedometer. The green bar on the left is your shields, and the meters on the right show your missile ammo and machine gun heat. Got it? Cool. The triggers in the A and C buttons fire your weapons. You have unlimited machine gun fire, but it can overheat. Your missiles are in very short supply, but you can get more by finding pickups from fallen racers or by driving over recharge pads. There are multiple recharge pads that have different functions, like refilling shields, fuel, and ammo, and they're scattered all around different areas of most tracks. The main problem with this is that just simply driving through them doesn't recharge your meters enough. You have to stop and sit in these spaces to fully recharge, which is incredibly counterintuitive to this style of racing. The racing itself in this game is just very dull and boring. You can get through most turns pretty easily, even the tightest of corners. This may seem fine, but there's no challenge at all to the racing. Your craft doesn't handle with any kind of satisfying finesse. You kind of just hover along casually without any real difficulty to contend with. The tracks are fairly large and wide open with several 90 degree hairpin turns and some jumps here and there, but they don't really stand out from one another. Okay, let's formally talk about the presentation, cause DAMN! The graphics are up there as some of the worst I've ever seen on the Saturn, from both a stylistic and functional standpoint. Again, the frame rate is atrocious, and in multiplayer, the game is practically unplayable. This game simply wasn't optimized at all for the Saturn hardware, and we've seen what this console is capable of when put in the right hands. Hell, we've seen what Bullfrog is capable of. Supposedly, this game was developed over the span of 8 weeks using the Magic Carpet Engine, simply to abide by a quota put forth by their publisher, Electronic Arts. And look what happened! We got this shit! Hope those quarterly earnings were worth it, guys! You did a good job! High Octane is bad. It plays bad, and it looks bad. It's a sad excuse for a combat racing game, and is up there as one of the worst video games I've ever played. If you're looking for a game that'll suck the remaining fun out of your life, look no further than High Octane, a repulsive piece of utter trash.